Five stops were produced uh, before the outbreak of uh, war, um, around about 1,030 or so uh, after the war. Uh, the figures I've got, uh, 35 pre-war, 65 post-war in Belgium, and 940 in France and Algeria. So a total of just over 1,000. It's interesting, what they did during the war, uh, obviously there wasn't an awful lot of time, um, so the Belgians buried all the plans um, under one of the airfields, and they were dug up after the war, and they were production to start more or less straight away. Fortunately, somebody had the sense to remember where they buried them, because how often is it you put something away thinking, that's important, I know where I've put it. 20 minutes later, you can't remember, can you? <laughs> Or they is that just me? They weren't our age, don't you worry. <laughs> no, I think the point was that you actually survived the war. Yeah, I can't remember. Belgians had a tough time. Yeah. After the Second World War, the principal operator of the stop wasn't uh, the Belgians, in fact, it was the, the French who became the uh, standard basic trainer for the French Army de l'Air. Um, and uh, popular to this day, does the stop remain in private hands? An interesting note here, a Mrs. Elisa Mason asked for a lady's stop and an error <laughs> in reading the construction drawings reduced the wing area accidentally improved. <laughs> things. Very pleasant to fly, very sensitive. The link to the Tiger Moth is that Jean Stock was actually the agent for de Havilland in Belgium and pilot to the King of the Belgians. And that's why there's a, a natural comparison. But they are quite radically different. In the sense that Stock is more wooden airframe, whereas the Tiger Moth is a steel tube, centre section, and the rest of it is wood. Oh, 
The, uh, the stomp display team a little bit under strength today, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but uh, hopefully they'll give us a good display. Here we go. Nice Irish break. judgment of distance and timing is really quite difficult. Very often they will set parameters
And don't forget, if you want to show your appreciation, you wait until the pilots landed, taxied in and switched off. And then, after a few minutes, he might be able to hear you properly. Big side slip now. A simple manoeuvre, not used very much these days uh, by modern aircraft because they're more resistant to side wind, uh, crosswinds, but uh, certainly very useful in a tail dragger aircraft. Wheels are on, which is the sensible option in these conditions. Keep the nose forward and let the tail drop. Here we are, very nice. Talking about the similarities and differences between the, the Tiger and the, the Schnorr, because the Tiger has a, a tail skid, doesn't it? Yeah, the Tiger has a skid. The, uh, the Schnorr has a wheel. Yeah, that's an interesting thing, because you do have brakes on the stop.